Now, Trump friend and former Nixon aide Roger Stone is contending that Scott Walker and his cronies rigged five elections in Wisconsin in recent years, including the recall election and the Walker reelect. Richard Charman, a professor and mathematician, is giving him their theory, saying that the exit poll data didn't match the results on election night, so therefore there is rigging or a hacked machine or whatever the case. Dr. Strangelove, you tell me. One of the problems with that is raw exit poll data is never accurate because you're not considering the non-responses and the fact that the people may say something to the pollster, but that's a small part of it. What is also troublesome is that they're putting more weight on what the exit poll data is, what people say after voting to the interviewer. That has more weight and more credibility and more accuracy than what happens in the results themselves. Somehow those results are rigged, fixed, bogus, but what the exit poll participants tell the interviewer outside in the rain, that's accurate. Some, some precincts have more people to respond than others, so you don't consider the non-responses. The bottom line is, this contention that Wisconsin had rigged elections, which has ballots harder to rig than other states that rely on electric machines, so the possibility of hacking is greater. Here we have a lot of paper ballots that go through those, those machines that read this, the written, handwritten tabulation. Uh, it's one thing to say that they were rigged, another thing to say that we have a study. You don't have a study, you have conjecture based on raw data and exit polls, which is a bogus way to do it. So I would say, like Scott Walker or hate Scott Walker, I don't think we have any reason to think that he's been rigging the results. My two cents, my two minutes, are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We can talk about this more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mic. The Mitch Hanks Show. Talk to you then.